I never cared for surprises. My Meemaw, on the other hand, thought they were a hoot. And it's a good thing, because instead of finding the paper on her doorstep, she found... <laughs> what are you doing here? I wanted to surprise you. Mission accomplished. Oh, good. So how's everything going with your super collider? Well, up until Wednesday at 6.43, wonderful. So Dr. Sturgis, what would you say to local residents who are concerned about the super collider's safety? Is there a chance that Waxahachie could be the next Chernobyl? Absolutely not. The super collider is very different from a nuclear power plant. This can't melt down. The worst it could do would be to create a microscopic black hole. And what would that do? Well, it's unlikely, but uh, it could grow until it swallowed up the entire Earth and possibly the moon. Friendly advice. Next time somebody asks you if your work could destroy the world, just say no. I'm not sure there's going to be a next time. What do you mean? I've been doing science all my life. Connie, I'm 72 and just lost my dream job. <laughs> right now, uh, I think I need to uh, take a step back. The Texan in me wants to say get back on the horse, but I won't. Hi, Mary. Hey, John. What are you doing here? Well, I lost my job, so while I'm figuring things out, I'm a bag boy. Although, at my age, boy is pushing it. Aren't you a little overqualified? Very. Hey, why don't you join us for dinner this weekend? Children would love to see you. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Clean up on aisle two. That's me. Madge, can you finish up here? I have a date with a mop. <laughs> Thanks for inviting John to dinner tonight. Oh, my pleasure. I've been a little bit worried about him, you know, with what happened last time. At least he didn't seem unstable when I talked to him. The man has a doctorate in science, and he's filling people's grocery bags. He actually did a really nice job. He put the heavy things on the bottom. He kept the cold things together. Mary. Well, they don't always do that. I just hate to see him give up like this. Who are you talking about? Dr. Sturgis. Why'd he give up? Science. He's working at the grocery store. At least he didn't give up being weird. He is also coming over for dinner, so behave yourself. I can behave at school, or I can behave at home. I can't do both. You seem to be interested in this alternative universe thing. Maybe that's something you could work on. Maybe there is another universe where I'm already doing that. Sure. But maybe you could do it in both. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting at? Just that instead of wasting your time bagging groceries, you could be working on something worthwhile. There's nothing wrong with me trying something new. But you've got a PhD. You're the smartest person here. Well, Connie, I'm happy doing what I'm doing right now. I don't believe that. John, I'm sorry. I don't mean to push, but I just... I worry about you. You do? Of course. You know I care about you. That means a lot. The truth is, if I could live in an alternate universe, I'd live in one where we never broke up. Hope it's okay to say that. It is. <laughs> 